Hello everyone, Prince Harry shocks his host with this revelation. Latest news, it does not disappoint. You will be shocked when I reveal this information. Please calm down and watch this video until the end. Of course, a great number of people are aware of and remember the fact that Prince Harry had a strong desire for his father, King Charles, and his younger brother, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince William, to read his novel Spare. And to the best of our knowledge, I am certain that they have given it a thumbs up. But in reality, as he then pointed out, Harry had stretched the tooth on a variety of different stories. You understand. To watch how this specific component from Columbia has now exploded is an intriguing thing to see at this point. The world is now aware that Franny Marquez made the decision to invite Harry and Meghan on a trip to Colombia, which would be very expensive for the Colombian taxpayers, because she was inspired, yes, get those words, inspired by watching the Harry and Meghan Netflix docuseries, which consisted of six episodes and was available on Netflix. She appeared to be very overwhelmed by this situation. Now, as we know, you know, Harry himself had publicly spoken about the fact that he couldn't get his family to connect, or indeed, listen to the hardships and tribulations that he and his wife, the former Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, had gone through. Apparently, when Franny discovered this information, she was completely taken aback and couldn't quite believe what she was hearing. She believes that it would be a very excellent idea as an inspiring narrative about overcoming problems and hardship. And she believes that it would be a very good idea if many people, particularly younger people, especially young ladies who are inspirational, could see this specific documentary series and be as motivated as she was. Right? Now it goes even further, because it is reported that she actually said, well, what do you mean? You know... And as we always have to emphasize, it is said that none of the family members have seen this or expressed their opinion on it. A number of individuals are aware of the fact that nobody genuinely knows if His Majesty the King or William and Catherine had watched any episodes of this documentary series. However, we are able to tell you that this is something that most people are aware of. Now that the prediction is here, what do you think about this? Have the royals watched any episodes of this documentary series? If you think they will, comment one, and if you think they won't, comment do. That pertains to their privacy, and it is up to them to decide whether or not they choose to take part in that. But Harry, of course, is hoping for some kind of public expression of, you know, what's the term I think I'm looking for? You know, confirmation that they've seen it, and that yes, they understand the traumas that he's gone through and other such things. According to the information provided by that source, Franny and the team that was surrounding her were unable to believe it, taking into consideration the fact that, from her perspective, she is essentially stating that she booked you over here because she was inspired by you. This is a really astute move, isn't it? It would appear that the remainder of his family is not motivated by the never-ending assaults that have been made against them for their supposed racist comments and for a variety of other reasons. You are able to watch how this exact visit, which is currently taking place, has collapsed for all of the wrong reasons. It is important to note that Harry and Meghan truly consider themselves to be an alternative court, as I mentioned before, in spite of the fact that our genuine British family, the British monarchy, is unable to go to some regions of the world for whatever reason. They are more than happy to travel to those regions anyway. In the event that you are unable to get them, there is a possibility that you might choose the pound store variation, which is Harry and Meghan. That, of course, comes at a cost, regardless of the nation that they choose to settle in. You should make them feel welcome. Due to the fact that Franny was a fan of this specific Netflix series, it turned out to be a fairly pricey vanity trip. This is all because of the fact that we have seen here. Therefore, regardless of the circumstances, the wheels are falling off of this incredibly delicate tour that was once again intended to relaunch the Sussexes and revolve around a single subject. At this point, people have moved on from the platforms that encourage women to look 
and have moved away from the digital bullying platforms. Nobody watched our series. Can you see how everything is currently developing? Always, in the end, you will return to them. And of course, still, no one cares about these two hypocrites. We've seen what they've done and continue to do and wish they would just stop. Instead of talking about children, stop making out good parents. Just stay home with your children and be parents to them instead of flitting around, pretending to be working royal. At the expense of a country struggling financially, they went on their gibberish tour, possibly taking food from people who are hungry, while you charge your travel clothes and ridiculous amounts of security upon them. Shameful. I wonder if the Colombian people know that one dollars. Five million pounds of their tax money was spent on this tour. Besides, only so, they as the royal family might set their jaws and minds, collectively accepting that Harry can never be trusted and never allowed to be admitted back into the royal family, either physically or as a member, never to attend any royal functions, exiled and cast out. I appreciate King Charles III may wish to place him somewhere in a protected safe and closely clinically managed institution, from the past to the present. He's weaponized his mother's death for far too long. It's been his get-out-of-jail card for too long. This is a man who spent his life in the lap of luxury, with a family giving him everything he ever wanted. His words cut through the hearts of those whose lives have been brutalized. I'm sick to death of these disgusting people. He's a middle-aged man, although he looks a good 10 years older nowadays. Harry and Meghan shut up. Most people operate at different levels depending on the event and the people they meet superficially in social occasions, seriously at official functions, intensely during work, etc. The Harkles only operate at one level, inane grins, silly jokes, and flirtatious behavior. What you see is what you get all the time. It has become boring. This actually boggles my brain. I'm amazed that more hadn't been reported on this disgusting part of the fairy story, aka Spare. I feel bad for the people of Colombia having to pay for Harry and Meghan's farcical tour. That's on the value per milestone. I would like to know what their formula was to determine the amount of security. Seems like a lot for an unemployed grifter. Harry is just a passenger in his life at this point. People are getting sick and tired of the moaning and carrying on. Is Franny also aware that Harry has never met his father-in-law even though he only lives a few hours drive away? and that Meghan would not allow any of her family except her mother to be invited to their wedding. Someone should make her aware of those things, as well as all of the lies in the Netflix series and in Harry's book. I think it is likely she and her mom are into this together from before the wedding. As to how to get as much money and jewelry and expensive goods shipped to America. That is why she tolerates her mother near her. The vanity trip where the vice president was enamored by Meghan in a documentary costed Colombia taxpayers 1.3 million. If I were Colombian, I would demand that woman to resign. Isn't she going to run for president? Oh dear. Franny, what an absolute error of judgment you've made. As oh, more ridiculously, inspired by a woman who never bothered with her Bielicky heritage, who considered herself white, and was insulted to be considered this, was insulted that she was offered a black inquiry, a woman who is uneasy with black people. Certainly, there is nothing inspirational about Harry and Meghan. I have one affirmation for them. You are liars, you are greedy, and you are cruel to your families. Say that to yourself three times daily and find some enlightenment. After all the turmoil that has happened to the royal family, all caused by Harry, I still cannot understand why Harry has not been stripped of his title. In fact, Parliament has the power to remove Harry and any invisible offspring from the line of succession and also to take away the titles. Of course, the Harkles can travel everywhere they want, but just not parading as though they are part of the royal family, which they are not. Harry is only a former royal because he abandoned his royal duties. His family and his country and the thing he married never was, isn't and never will be royal. She isn't even a British citizen. Especially, my question is, 
Why did he allow his vice president so much power over the country's finances? However, I read that Meghan contacted only the vice president, using Prince Harry's status, asking for a visit to Colombia, because she thought Meghan could be influential on the subjects being discussed. Ha! Who is she kidding? She and Harry are only influential in lying and online bullying. I doubt Colombia's vice president is still a fan of Meghan's, especially after she blatantly bear-hugged, kissed, back-rubbed the vice president's husband. Imagine while snuggled as close as possible to used her elbow in his ribs as if they shared a secret. Similar, while on the balcony, and turns to smirk at Harry when he glares, telling them to turn around. Not only that, think of the expense of an education at Eton, completely wasted on Harry and taking up a place at Sandhurst and in the British Armed Forces. Those institutions must be appalled as well. It's a pity Harry doesn't have to pay back the cost of all of that education and training so that some less fortunate young people could have these opportunities to create a better world, not only for themselves, but also for Britain. The lack of introspection by Harry and Meghan is colossal. The royal family doesn't want to read the one-sided tales and lies of Harry's trashy book. Plus, why waste time and energy on watching the Sussexes' one-sided document series on Netflix when the headlines are on the front cover of most newspapers? Their next tour should be to Kabul. The women there are looking for inspiration and their voices to be heard. Do you agree? Please share more with me about your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Now goodbye and see you again.